Hey guys, it's me Capo back with another Call of Duty Mobile before you buy video and this time we have the brand new lucky draw, the altered DNA draw with the Fennec Venom Coil and the new character called Cryptis. So now I'm going to tell you everything that you should know before you buy the draw so you can decide whether you are going to buy this draw or skip it. Now I will start with the legendary Fennec. I thought I should talk about the Fennec comparing it with the mythic Fennec because that's the most expensive Fennec that we have in the game and this one is going to come compete with it. So can it compete? Let's find out. I decided to compare these two blueprints side by side. I'm not going to lie, the Venom Coil skin is a nice looking skin. But if you're going to buy this draw because the default Fennec has a terrible iron sight and you want a new iron sight, if that's your goal, don't do it. Even there are epic skins with better iron sight than this legendary Fennec iron sight. I know, I know, it's much better than the default Fennec iron sight. It has a ghost ring, it covers a lot, it kicks a lot, it's not user friendly at all. All. This one is better compared to it, but if you compare it to Mythic, I mean, you can obviously see the difference. So you would ask me, if I'm not going to buy this, when will the Mythic Fennec come? That's a really good question, and I have no answer about that. But remember, we got the legendary Nikto back, and it's coming in just a few weeks. If that's possible, why not the Mythic Fennec possible? And it's the first ever Mythic Blueprint. And if Mythics come back, Fennec is the first one to come back. So remember that. Maybe you have different comments on this. Feel free to comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Let's move on to the new character Cryptis. Now unfortunately we don't have a gameplay of Cryptis. But we can take a 360 look at the character. And I tell you guys, I really love this character skin. Because of several reasons. Number one, it does not have any fancy colors. Number two, he's wearing a leather jacket and a helmet. So he's a biker, a futuristic biker. Number three, we know nothing about this character. We even don't know if he's a man or a woman. I mean, he should be a man or whatever and also I really like the trailer because of the trailer I think this character is so cool he also has a logo on his back just like the Templar but also he does look like the original Templar but I know he's not as good as Templar by the looks Templar is not a good guy at all but anyways what are your comments about this character skin I absolutely love this character skin I would love to pull it early and skip the legendary Fennec but you know I'm not going to do it I'm anyway going to buy the whole draw Let's move on to the other items in this lucky draw. So you have to understand this draw's name is already DNA and you can see the DNA model in every other skin in this lucky draw. If we check the emote, the emote name is Fist to a Gunfight. I don't know, it sounds brave and at the same time it sounds stupid. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. And then moving on, we have a M4 LMG. That's a basic skin with a different reskin. And then we have this knife skin. I'm not going to lie, I really like that knife skin. And then we are going to get this calling card, the weightless shot spray and I don't know why they put it in here then we have the sticky grenade SMRS and finally the motorcycle skin so this motorcycle skin is featured in the trailer so I think it's a good skin and you can see the phantom word in each of these skins as well to me the items in this lucky draw are not that decent but the character skin is really good and the legendary fennec if you wish to get it just get it I don't really recommend going for the fennec where there is chance of getting the mythic fennec back and that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet and don't forget to leave a comment down below what you think about this video and i'll see you guys in the next video